It is time to experiment with the way we experiment. We will use the internet to allow the public to fund and participate in a fully crowdsourced basic research project. The internet, itself the fruit of curiosity-driven research, has transformed every creative endeavor it has touched, promoting collaboration, openness, and efficiency. But scientists are stuck in a closed free internet mindset. We aim to change that. So who are we and what do we want to do? For five years, Ethan Perlstein's lab at Princeton has been developing a new evolutionary approach to studying how drugs work. For nearly two decades, David Solster's lab at Columbia Med School has been a leader in the study of how drugs affect the brain. Our labs will now join forces to tackle a long-standing puzzle in mental health research. How does a family of drugs called amphetamines, which includes methamphetamine, actually work? Millions of people take these drugs every day, yet we don't fully understand what they do at the cellular level. How can we hope for new treatments to brain diseases or addiction without basic understanding? Simple, we can't. We will use a proven technique called autoradiography to figure out where these drugs go in the brain. Decades ago, this approach famously demonstrated that the psychedelic drug LSD works by interacting with specific neurotransmitter receptors throughout the brain. Autoradiography is really just radioactive photography. We'll start by injecting into a sample a radioactive version of the drug, which acts like a tiny homing beacon. Then, we'll expose brain tissue to film. The radioactive emissions appear as dark spots, revealing the drug's precise locations. By combining autoradiography with a powerful microscope, we will peer deep inside brain cells to resolve once and for all where amphetamines accumulate. The best part is, we don't know where it will end up, so the public will experience the thrill of discovery as it occurs. But to change the culture of science, we need your support and your input. To bring you closer to the action, we will make all data we generate freely available on the web. We will provide weekly blog and video reports detailing how research is progressing on the project's website. We will also hold regular online meetings to discuss results as they trickle in. And for the most generous supporters, we will offer the opportunity to engage in brainstorming sessions to help us make any scholarly publications resulting from this project intelligible to non-scientists. The light bulb wasn't invented by someone improving the candle. Together, we can create an open model of scientific research and communication for the internet age and beyond.